In this video, I'm going to talk about my realizations about American churches and spirituality. Warning, this channel may cause you to think independently, understand bad religion when you see it, and protect you from wasting your time in dysfunctional churches. Hi, I'm Renee, and this is me in the 1980s, saved and sanctified. Yeah, that was a term we used in our testimonies to let everybody know we were measured up. At 19, I joined a group that called themselves the Church of God. We felt our doctrine was perfect, and we were on our way to heaven if we followed our pastor's rules. All seemed right until I became a minister and saw how much my church played pretend. I began to study what was inherently wrong in our church and why this religion inflicted so many emotional scars on my family and others. Now, my family is free and healing after leaving this system and life is better. Follow me as I show you the problems with extreme religion and what you can do to recover and why you should simply stay away. Welcome to the changing room. Hi, I'm Dr. Renee Milton, and today's video is about my moment of realization. I would like to say that if you like these videos and you want to subscribe, please do. I have below a list of helps for people that need therapy and need assistance with their life, getting out of a, a, a abusive a spiritual situation or an abusive group. So let's get started. It was like a club. So if you dressed a certain way and you got in with the right people, then maybe you could get something accomplished. If you didn't, then your chances are kind of iffy. And so that's kind of how people operated in this group. They did not really take to heart Ephesians 4 and 11. And Ephesians 4 and 11 talks about there are different offices in the ministry. So they became a pastor-only organization. You the reason I talk about many of these issues on this channel is not just to talk about my past church, my former church, but really to note and hopefully people will pick up that there's a real problem with the structure of American churches. The authoritarian church would not exist except for the structure of a lot of American churches which are so pastor centered. They are centering around this one person and this one person has so much power that the wrong person in that position, he could do anything he wants. She could do anything she wants. And it's really from my reading of the Bible, very unbiblical structure that we have accepted in America as biblical. We think there's this one person that we're all supposed to look to and we forget completely about Jesus Christ himself. So we have these men and women that have gone to seminary school and they take these positions as pastors or they develop a church and then maybe they have great charisma. But after a while, it becomes in a sense, very authority centered. The word of the pastor because of his influence and his charisma becomes the word of the day when it really should be the Bible that is the word. It really should be what Jesus said as the final word. But because we have set up these systems in America and these churches, it has become something else. And that is why even today, I am very concerned about joining any particular church. I tend to get my spirituality as I go but I am very cautious about it because not only was my church under this spell, but I see a lot of American churches are under this same type of influence, under this spell. So this is 
the crux of all of my um, thoughts about what I do on this channel and why I do it. There was a moment when I realized spirituality doesn't come in a box. It doesn't come in this neat little gift wrapped present that you take and you pull it out every now and then and you pull it out at church and you pull it out when somebody, oh, somebody mentioned a scripture and you pull out your spirituality. God is, I am realizing, a lot larger than my, my group. God is just overall, he's so big and the concept of him is so unimaginable that to say that he is confined to a particular church, to a particular group, and even to a particular religion is very short-sighted. There are some areas of the world that have never even heard or bothered with Jesus Christ, but that doesn't mean that they have no spirituality. This is something that was alluded to in the Bible, and I think it's Romans, the second chapter. Groups like my group just do not accept or talk about the wideness of God. What they talk about is just supporting what they've already taught. So when they preach, and this was another realization for me, when they preach, they were simply and this was me too, because I learned to preach in that group uh, until I actually learned to preach. And when I went to seminary school, um, they preach in a way of just simply repeating scriptures. And I realized that, that after my year that I was studying and looking at scriptures that were contradictory to our way of teaching, but not contradictory not the Bible contradicting itself, but things that we taught contradicting the Bible, contradicting the teaching of Jesus Christ. I realized that these things that I am understanding are right are not going to fit with this group because they just have a certain view of the Bible and you better not think outside of that box or that's the devil. So this is where I realized that my religion was not going to save me. And I, re I realized in the Bible how much Jesus talked against religion. He spent most of his time fighting against religious people because people tend to feel like if they create a system of worshiping God, that somehow that makes them above the next guy that makes them superior in some way that they've created this system of worshiping God and that makes them spiritual. So the, what happens is the religion itself becomes God. And that's a problem because Jesus talked about being connected with God and spirituality and he would talk with the Pharisees about their, their views, their, their minute, minute views of all of these rules and regulations that they had to make themselves closer to God. But that's just a lot of times what we have today in American churches is people creating systems and creating rules for other people about how to worship God and confining you to those, those boxes and then saying, okay, this is the way to heaven. Everybody wants to go to heaven. And so if you have made it convenient for people by uh, giving them a list of rules, giving them things they do and, and all that, they, all that they have to do is um, follow all these rules, people will do it. People many times will not seek for true spirituality as long as they have church because all they have to do is go and show up and give God a little something, something, and then they go on about their life. But that's not spirituality. 
Spirituality is having God in your life 24 seven, in your life all the time. You are God conscious, but, but religion is easy. Spirituality is, is something that we have to, to work at, but it's easy to follow religion. And especially in America where there's a church on just about every corner. There's, there's a church you can, especially uh, in the area that I live, there's, there's just churches everywhere. It's very easy to get some money and set up a church and be a pastor and then have all these people pay you tithes forever and ever, 10% of their income, and you live off that. But in, in America, we have mixed up going to church with our spirituality.